to Dara Teaches How to Play. Today I'm going to teach you how to play the Spiker Stot. The Spiker Stot is an auction game, but it's not like a regular auction game. Each round a number of cards will be available for players to bid on. On your turn, you take one of your three meeples and get in line behind one of the cards. Each player will get a turn to do this until all players have lined up all three of their meeples. Once everyone has placed their meeples, each card goes up for auction, starting with the first card. Whoever is first in line has the opportunity to buy that card. The cost of the card is the number of people in line. This first card can be sold to purple for three coins. If purple does not want it, then purple leaves the line. Now it is blue's turn to buy it, but it will only cost blue two coins. Each card is auctioned off down the line. There are different types of cards that can be bought. Some cards are worth points. Some cards are contracts. For those, you have to get those kind of goods by the end of the game. Some cards will let you get more money. There's also firefighters in the game. At certain times during the game, there will be fires. Whoever has the most firefighters will gain points. But whoever has the least will lose points. At the end of a round, every player gets one coin. But if you didn't buy anything during that round, you get a second coin. Sometimes it's good not to buy cards. During some auction rounds, ships will be up for auction. When a ship comes into play, grab three goods out of the bag at random and place them on the ship. I drew a green, a white, and a red cube. That would be useful for filling this contract. The game ends after all the cards have been auctioned. And of course, whoever has the most points is the winner. Thanks for learning how to play the Spiker Shot with me. For more great dare videos, don't forget.